Come on, everyone. Let's sing nursery rhymes. Nursery rhymes. It's lots of fun to do. We're gonna sing nursery rhymes. Nursery rhymes. Come on and sing them too. There's little Jack Horner, Jack and Jill, and the grand old Duke of York. Will little Bo Peep find her sheep? Come on, let's take a walk to the land of nursery rhymes. Nursery rhymes. I wonder who we'll see in the land of nursery rhymes. Nursery rhymes. Tweedledum or Tweedledee. There's Mary, Mary. She's quite contrary. Hey, little Miss Muffin, watch out. Oh, King Cole, he's a merry old soul. So come on, let's hear you shout. Nursery rhymes. We're going to the land of nursery rhymes. Hmm. Now this path must lead to the rickety bridge. It, oh no, that's not right, is it? Um. Ah oh, no, this path must lead to the main gate. It, oh no, that's not right either. Oh, hello there. Ah, oh, it's great to see you. I'm Justin. And I'm just reading this map. It's a very special map because it's full of nursery rhyme characters. Have a look at this. Right, we've got Little Bo Peep here. And, uh, oh, look, there's the grand old Duke of York. Ha ha! Oh, and down here we've got Little Miss Muffet with her little spider. They're all here. And I've got this map because today I'm going to visit them all in nursery rhyme land. Woohoo! Hey, do you want to come too? You do? Oh, great. Well, what are we waiting for? Come on, let's go. <laughs> hey, have you got a favourite nursery rhyme? I quite like five currant buns. Ah. <laughs> hey, look over here, there's a sign. Let's see what it says. Hmm. <gasps> Nursery rhyme land this way. <gasps> and there's an arrow pointing there. <laughs> I think we're nearly there. I can't wait. Come on, let's go. Whoa. I think we've arrived. It's the entrance to nursery rhyme land. <laughs> Rhyme Land. Good morning. Oh, good morning. Whoa! <laughs> good morning. Well, I tell you what, it's very busy here today, isn't it? <laughs> morning. Morning. I wonder who we're going to see first. Who do you think it will be? <laughs> hey, there's someone singing over there, and she's sitting on a tuffet. Do you know who it is? That's right. It's Little Miss Muffet. Come on, let's go and say hello. <laughs> hello there. Hello. Oh, and hello to you too. Would you like some curds and whey? Oh, I'd love some. I'm starving. Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider and sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. <laughs> oh. oh dear, that spider's always trying to frighten me when I'm eating. Oh, well, I'll tell you what, little Miss Muffet, why don't we sing the song again? And this time, why don't you shout out when you see the spider? Great. Here we go. Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider. Pardon? What? Can you see something? 
<laughs> what, the spider? <laughs> Where? What, what, behind us here? Whoa! <laughs> Along came a spider and sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. <laughs> well, little Miss Muffet, you see, there's no need to be scared of spiders. That's right, I'm a friendly spider. <laughs> so what's your name then? I'm Incy Wincy. Oh, of course. Should we sing about Incy Wincy Spider? <laughs> Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. So Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the spout again. <laughs> Do you know, I don't think I'm frightened of spiders anymore. Thank you. <laughs> well, I've got to go, little Miss Muffet. Lots more to see and sing. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Goodbye. See ya. Nice lad. Would you like some curds and whey, Incy Wincy? Oh, I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> I thought spiders only ate flies. Oh, no, I'm quite partial to a bit of curds and whey every now and then. <laughs> Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown And Jill came tumbling after Well, he was a very friendly spider, wasn't he? <laughs> but I still didn't get my curds and whey And I'm still hungry! Well, I can help you there! Oh. I baked some lovely pies to sell them at the fair! Hey, you must be the pieman! That's right! Let me smell those pies! <sighs> Ooh, they smell delicious. Oh, yes. They're scrum diddly umptious. <laughs> the best in the land. Ooh. Excuse me, mister. Can I buy one of your pies, please? Hey, you must be Simple Simon. Oh, yes, sir. That's me. <laughs> Simple Simon met a pieman going to the fair. Said Simple Simon to the pieman. Let me taste your wear. Said the pieman to Simple Simon. Show me first your penny. Said Simple Simon to the pieman. Indeed, I have not any. Let's sing about those yummy pies again, shall we? And why don't you join in this time? Here we go. Simple Simon met a pieman going to the fair. Said Simple Simon to the pieman. Let me taste your wear. Said the pieman to Simple Simon. Show me first your penny. Said Simple Simon to the pieman. Indeed, I have not any. Oh, dear. Well, I think I can help you there, Simple Simon. I've got a shiny penny that you can have, and now you can buy one of those yummy pies. Oh, thanking you kindly, mister. Go on, then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got a fantastic yummy pie for my dinner. <laughs> I think I'm going to have one of those yummy pies, too. Oh, I'm late for the fair. Moustache, bye-bye. Yeah, hang on, Mr Pieman, what about my pie? <sighs> oh, well, maybe I'll find something else to eat later on. Oh, wish I... Mmm. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Little Jack Horner sat in a corner. Eating a Christmas pie. Mm -mm. Ah. He put in his thumb and pulled out a plum and said, What a good boy am I! <laughs> oh, King Cole was a merry old soul, and a merry old soul was he. He called for his pipe and he called for his bowl and he called for his fiddlers three. Now every fiddler had a very fine fiddle and a very fine fiddle had he. Old King Cole was a merry old soul and a merry old soul was he. Ho, 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 ho. Hey, was that you? Hmm, uh, well, it wasn't me. Oh, hang on a minute. 
It might be my tummy rumbling. I'm still starving. Excuse me. Oh, who was that? Excuse me, sir. Oh, hello there. <sighs> Excuse me, sir. I've lost my sheep. I don't suppose you've seen them anywhere. Well, actually, we have heard some strange sounds, haven't we, that go a bit like this? <laughs> Meh. Oh, that sounds just like them. Really? Hey, you must be Little Bo Peep. Uh, yes, I am. Well, maybe if we sing your nursery rhyme, your sheep will come home. Oh, wonderful! <laughs> Sorry. You'll help me, won't you? Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find. Them. Leave them alone and they will come home, bringing their tails behind them. I think I can hear them. They're coming home. If we sing it one more time. Oh, sorry about your foot. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. Leave them alone. Sheep have returned. <laughs> oh, thank you. Well, gotta go, little bow. Lots of nursery rhymes to sing. Don't forget to look after your sheep. I will. <laughs> bye bye. Yeah, bye bye. Oh, I'm sorry about your foot. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> now, listen, I'm not sheepish at all. I'm just good looking. Morning, old MacDonald. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O And on that farm he had a pig, E-I-E-I-O With an oink oink here and an oink oink there Here an oink, there an oink, everywhere an oink oink Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O Now, what else can you see on Old MacDonald's farm? Let's have a look. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O And on that farm he had some sheep, E-I-E-I-O With a meh here and a meh there Here a meh, there a meh, everywhere a meh meh Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O So we've had some sheep and a pig What else can you see? Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O And on that farm he had a cow, E-I-E-I-O With a moo here and a moo there Here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O Wow, lots of animals! Hang on a minute, I think I can see some more Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O And on that farm he had some chickens, E-I-E-I-O With a buck here and a buck there Here a buck 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 Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O Ha ha! Well, Little Bo Peep found her sheep. <coughs> <coughs> but I tell you what, I'm still hungry. <laughs> hey, I think I've just solved my problem. Take a look over there. <laughs> so we have our lovely tea ready. And we have our delicious cake. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, hello there. <laughs> I'm Polly, and this is my little sister, Suki. Hello! <laughs> now, Suki, would you care for a lovely, refreshing cup of tea? Oh, no, I'd love some delicious cake, though. Oh, yes, yes. Polly, put the kettle on. Polly, put the kettle on. Polly, put the kettle on. We'll all have tea. Suki, take it off again. <gasps> Suki, take it off again. Really? Suki, take it off again. We'll all have cake. Oh, Suki, how can I possibly pour the tea if you keep taking the kettle off again? But, my dear, I don't want tea. I want to get straight to the cake. Oh, yes, yes, we'll have the cake later. But first, the lovely cup of tea. 
And why don't you youngsters join in this time? Polly put the kettle on. Polly put the kettle on. Polly put the kettle on. We'll all have tea. Suki, take it off again. <gasps> Suki, take it off again. Oh. Suki, take it off again. We'll, we'll all, all have tea. <gasps> now, would you care for some tea? And pass me that teapot, please. Oh. Oh, well, I hope the sisters saved me some of that yummy, scrummy cake. But you know what? That teapot reminds me of another song. And why don't you join in with the actions too? Are you ready? Here we go. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here's my handle, here's my spout. When the kettle's boiling, hear me shout. Tip me up and pour me out. <laughs> That was great. Come on, let's sing it again. And don't forget to get your tea bots ready. Are you ready? Here we go. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here's my handle, here's my spout. When the kettle's boiling, hear me shout. Tip me up and pull me out. <laughs> that was good. Hey, you know what? I'm going to go and see if I can get some of that yummy, scrummy cake. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Hello there. Hello, my dear. <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> my name is uh, Suki. And I'm Polly. I understand you'd like a piece of cake. Oh, yes, please. Uh -huh. <laughs> cake. <laughs> there you are, my dear. I picked it myself, you know. <laughs> oh, never mind her. Oh, well, I'm going to go and sit down and eat this yummy, scrummy cake. Woohoo! So, my dear. Yes? That must be my slice. Oh, yes, Suki. This is your slice. <laughs> oh, this tea is delicious. You really must try some. Patter cake, patter cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Pat it and prick it and mark it with B. And put it in the oven for baby and me. Ah, right, time for a nice rest and a lovely slice of cake. <laughs> oh, hey, <laughs> look. Two little dicky birds. Hello. Hello. Two little dicky birds sitting on a wall. One named Peter. Hello there. <laughs> and one named Paul. All right there. Fly away, Peter. See ya. Fly away, Paul. Hey, wait for me. <laughs> come back, Peter. Way back again. And come back, Paul. Yeah, me too. Hey, hey. Why don't you have a go at making your own two little dicky birds? It's so simple. All you need are some little eyes here, or you can use a felt tip pen if you want. And I've cut out two little diamond shapes out of some yellow card. Right, now, first of all, we take a couple of little eyes like that and pop them on one of my fingers. There. And then do exactly the same on the other finger. One eye and two eyes. Oh, they're coming along nicely. Hello. <laughs> now, pick up your diamond shapes. Now, they're going to be the bird's beaks and stick them on your fingers and there goes the other one and there you have two little dicky birds <coughs> let's sing it again <coughs> two little dicky birds sitting on a wall one named peter hello <laughs> there and one named paul All right there. fly away peter see ya Fly away, Paul. Hey, wait for me. Come back, Peter. Way back again. And come back, Paul. 
Yeah, me too. Hey. Bye. Oh, See bye. you later. Be lucky. Bye bye, Peter. Bye bye, Paul. <laughs> ah. Oh, thanks, Peter. <laughs> and thanks, Paul. <sighs> <laughs> My cake! <laughs> oh no! Mm. Oh yes, oh, this seed's absolutely delightful. Well, mustache. Sing a song of six, puts a pocket full of rye. Four and twenty blackbirds baked in a pie. When the pie was open, the birds began to sing. Wasn't that a dainty dish to put before the king? The king was in his counting house, counting out his money. The queen was in the parlor, eating bread and honey. The maid was in the garden, hanging out the clothes. When down came a blackbird and pecked off my nose. Oh, I say. Oh, dearie me, what a mess. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, sorry about that. And so, who are you? Oh, I'm Moonbeam. Moonbeam? That's a lovely name. And what do you do here? I put all the nursery rhymes to bed at night. Oh, I see. Do you? Um, you haven't seen Georgie Porgie around, have you? No, we haven't seen <laughs> Georgie Porgie, have we? No. Why? Well, he keeps on trying to kiss me. <laughs> oh, does he now? <laughs> well, don't worry, Moonbeam. If we see Georgie Porgie, we'll let you know. Oh, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Now, don't forget, if you see Georgie Porgie, shout out loud, won't you? <laughs> Pardon? What? Georgie Porgie? Where? What? Over here? Are you sure? I... No, there's no one there. <laughs> Georgie Porgie, is he back again? Where? What, on this side? OK. I... No, you're tricking me, aren't you? I can't see Georgie Porgie anywhere. Boom! Whoa! <laughs> oh. I think we've just found someone. <laughs> yeah, I'm Georgie Porgy. Yeah, of course you are. Georgie Porgy pudding and pie kissed the girls and made them cry. Ooh. When the boys came out to play, Georgie Porgy ran away. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Hot cross buns, hot cross buns One a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns If you have no daughters, give them to your sons One a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns Oh, do you know the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man Do you know the Muffin Man that lives down Drury Lane? Oh, do Who was that? I'm down here trying to catch a fish. Oh, I see. Sorry. So, um, what's your name? So, what's your name? My name's... <laughs> my name's Rod. Oh, I see. And this is my fishing rod. Oh, right. So, you could say this is Fisherman Rod's fishing rod. <laughs> Fisherman Rod's fishing rod. I'm here with a net. Are you? I can't see anyone. This is a net. <laughs> Pass us a worm, will you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a big juicy one. <sighs> so, um, what nursery rhyme are you then? One, two, three, four, five, of course. Oh, yeah, of course. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. Why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger so. Which 
finger did it bite. This little finger on my right. Well, I'll tell you what, Rod. I think I'm going to go before I get drenched <laughs> again. Good luck with... Good luck with the fishing. Thanks. Oh, no. Cheers. Bobby Shafto's gone to see his silver buckles on his knee. He'll come back to marry Fee. Bonnie Bobby Shafto. Bobby Shafto's fat and fair, combing down his yellow hair. He'll come back without a care. Bonnie Bobby Shafto. Hey! Wow! Well, I managed to dry off a bit, but Fisherman Rod got drenched again. I wonder who we're going to meet next. Who knows? Whoa, what a beautiful garden. Now, who has a garden like this? Do you know? It's my garden. I'm Mary. <laughs> of course it's Mary's. Mary, Mary, quite contrary. How does your garden grow? With silver bells and cockle shells And pretty maids all in a row Wow, it's beautiful. Should we sing about Mary's garden again? Are you ready? Mary, Mary, quite contrary How does your garden grow? With silver bells and cockle shells And pretty maids all in a row Well, thanks a lot for showing us your beautiful garden, Mary. My pleasure. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Old Mother Hubbard went to the cupboard to fetch her poor doggy a bone. But when she got there, the cupboard was bare. It's empty. And so the poor doggy had none. <laughs> well, I must say, we've had a fantastic time here in Nursery Rhyme Land, haven't we? And we've met so many characters. We've met Little Miss Mub. <laughs> What's that? <this? laughs> hey? Oh, look, it's a washing line. Hey, what are you doing getting my washing all dirty? Look at the state of my smalls. What? Oh, oh. oh, dear. Tell you what, they're more like bigs. <laughs> How bad, oh. you cheeky monkey. Oh, 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 oh. So, um, who are you then? I'm Hilda. The old woman. Oh. <laughs> oh, who lives in the shoe? Oh, yeah, I see. Look at that. Hey, Mum, we're all starving. When's dinner ready? Have patience, you lot. The broth's not ready yet. Uh, the Hilda, how many children have you got? Oh, well, uh, let me see. Well, there are one, two, there's, I'm not forgetting, and there's Mary, and there's Thomas, and there's Fred, and there's, there's Harry, Francis, and there's, of course, there's Jeremy, and, uh, and, and then there's Mary, and there's Fred, and there's James. <laughs> Kevin, no, Kevin, Kevin's having a sleepover. Oh, that's what there's, there's Harry, and there's, there's James, and there's, uh, there's, uh, there's, um, and there's, oh, there's about 23. Oh, 23. 23? 23. 23. At my age. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's sing. <laughs> there was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. She gave them some broth without any bread and scolded them soundly and sent them to bed. Yeah! Sing it again, Mom, please! <laughs> what the? Not again. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. She gave them some broth without any bread and scolded them soundly and sent them to bed. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I think my broth's ready. <laughs> Would you like some, dear? 
Uh, actually, I've there just... There we are. You see, oh, look at that. Just take a look. Oh, it's... Yeah, that'll stick to your ribs. <laughs> you know what, Hilda? I think I've uh, just lost my appetite. Oh, please yourself. No, oh, no, no, no. Dear. Come on, you lot. Come and get me. Ooh, I think it's time we went, don't you? Here, not all at once. Be careful. Oh, get Peter, get your foot out of Emily's bra. Yeah, come on. <laughs> run, boy, run! <laughs> Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Why don't you have a go at making your own Humpty Dumpty? You'll need some sticky tape, six little pom-poms, an old cheese carton that I've already covered, a little piece of card. I've used red, but you can use any colour you like. And I've just cut a circle in half. Three strands of string, but again, you can use wool if you like. A felt tip pen and some glue. Right, let's get going. Now, first of all, I'm going to take the cheese carton and I've cut a few little holes around the side. And you'll see why. Now, I'm going to take a piece of the string. Now this bit of string is going to be Humpty's arms. I'm just going to slot the string into place like that. You do the same with Humpty's legs. Pop those in there like that. And then this little piece of string is going to be the handle for your Humpty Dumpty puppet. And then, just so they don't move around, take a couple of strips of sellotape and just tape them down to the inside of your cheese carton. Right, now we take the lid and we just pop that on like that. And there you have it, it holds everything in place. There, right, now we're gonna use these little pom-poms. So, we're gonna take a couple of pom-poms and these are gonna be Humpty's feet. So we just put a little bit of glue there then another piece of glue there. There we go. They look great, don't they? And do exactly the same for Humpty's hands. Two blobs of glue. One. Two. You have to be careful not to stick your fingers down to the table. There we go. That's great. Now we'll need the glue again in a second. Now we're going to take this half circle piece of card and take some more glue. Glue that all on the back. Oh, I love gluing. And then pop that at the bottom like that. And that's going to be Humpty's trousers. And we take the last two pom-poms, dab a bit of glue, and these make great little buttons. You see? There. We're almost finished. Now, what's Humpty missing? It's a face, isn't it? So, we take our felt tip pen. I'm just going to draw a big nose like that. Colour it in. And then, how about a couple of eyes like that? And to finish it off, a big smile. There. And there you have your own Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> that broth didn't look very nice, did it? <laughs> hey, sounds like someone's upset. <laughs> sounds like they need a hanky too. Come on, let's go and see if we can help them. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I don't know. I've gone and lost all my men. Hello there. Hey, you must be the Grand Old Duke of York. The very same. Ah, pleased to meet you. I'm Justin. Oh, oh, I mean, uh, <clears throat> I'm Justin. That is. Oh, thank you. So, um, where have all your men gone? Well, we went marching up the hill, and all was fine and dandy. And when I came down, they'd all disappeared. Every last one of them. Oh, no. Hey, I'll tell you what, Grand Old Duke. Why don't we sing your song, 
and your men might hear us and they'll march back over the hill. <laughs> Marvellous idea, old bean. First class suggestion. <laughs> Off we go. Now I hope you're all marching and singing along too. Oh, oh the, the grand, grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Any sign, Duke? No, not a dicky bird. Uh. I think we should try singing the song louder. Ah, oh, good idea. Are you ready? Oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. <laughs> Thank you, young man. Thank you. Have the shiny medal oh, for all the help that you've given me. Oh, thank you. Great to see you, man. Group hug, everyone! <laughs> Hickory dickory dock The mouse ran up the clock The clock struck one The mouse ran down Hickory dickory dock Join in this time. Are you ready? Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. The mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock. Well, it's nearly time to leave. And Moonbeam is just about to put Nursery Rhyme Land to bed. Upon. Then you show your little light Twinkle, twinkle through the night Twinkle, twinkle, little star How I wonder what you are Good night, Nursery Rhyme Land Ooh, And good night to you too Sleep well
Ha <laughs> ha